Justice Mosier. Here. Justice Miller. Here. Justice Thornton. Here. Justice Cohn. Here. Justice Cooper. Justice Emmons. Here. All right, we could stand for prayer and pledge allegiance. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity. Come serve the county of Edgard. We pray that everything we do tonight will be pleasing to you. Just be with us throughout this meeting and be with us when we leave. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, one God, County Court Court met in regular session on Monday, June 3rd at 5 p.m. with all justices present. The minutes of the May meeting were read and approved on a motion by Justice Miller and second and seconded by Justice Emmons with all in favor. Appropriation Ordinance 2024-16. The county wishes to apply for fund park grant fund park grant funds to the Arkansas Department of Parks, Heritage, and Tourism to improve a public park in the following location. Edgar County Senior Citizen Center, 30 Chapel Hill Road, Brothel, Arkansas. Was approved on a motion by Justice Miller and seconded by Justice Sanders. After a roll call vote, all were in favor. The judge delivered the April and May road report and with no other business, the court adjourned at 5.33 p.m. on a motion by Justice Miller and seconded by Justice Sanders. Heard the reading of the minutes. Any discussion? Motion and second. Second. A motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed say aye. aye. Any comments from the audience? Last time I was here, a couple months ago, you said you were going to put culverts in on our road, Antioch Road. We hadn't made it there yet, sir. I know. And who decides who puts gravel on the road or clay? I do. Mm -hmm. And who gets the gravel? The white rock. <coughs> it just sometimes the, the individuals pay for it on some roads. Pay for gravel and then pay your taxes. Yes. Okay. That's yes, sir. Yeah. And That's and then. Uh, Depending on how many houses are on the road, just it all depends on my budget, basically. But we got money to do parks and that was a grant. That that was a, if that if we get the grant, it'll be free money. What's the tax? Some of the tax dollars going to go to the people to pay the tax. It does every day. It does. Yep. What about the trees hanging down off the roads and in the in the road? Who does that? Who takes care of that? I do. When? When we get there. Get the windshield. Uh, uh, well, I've been there for four and a half years, and I ain't seen a tree get picked up yet, unless I do it myself. That's it. I'm done. All right. All right. Old business. Um, we'll talk about that. I ain't got to come there, but uh, I ordered an appraisal on the land out there for the NADC. Uh, I don't think Cody's got it done yet. So we'll just table that until next time. Uh, couldn't find anything on the lease. Uh, I showed Gus in there. And I, there there and is I, no lease. There is no lease, so that building's out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what the rules are. If the federal government improves the property, I don't know. They don't, don't have any lease or anything. I don't, I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> and there's a letter that was, it's, and it's not dated. It ain't nothing. It, but it, there's no lease to be had. No. So. I think NADC, they sent you an email. Said after their 
trying to imply that the county would have to reimburse whatever federal agency paid for it, but I don't think that's what the law is. It says what they sent you says anything else after the 2016. I can't remember. That one letter says after 2016. This was 1990, 91. So Eric said he had looked through the clerk's records and couldn't find anything in the minutes where it was more important voting than it is. So we're still looking for the thing about that. Yeah. But that letter there that they had to ask him for, you know, it's not even dated. It's nothing. It was like typed out to the quorum court asking for what's the size of dimensions on there. 210 by something. 210 by 316. Yeah. Piece of property to build the building on. I can't find the record. Okay. So we'll table that until the next meeting. And we'll get an appraisal on the land just to see what it's worth while we're there. Any bills? No. You better get an appraisal on the building. Okay. Because we own the building. There's an old appraisal in there for the building that they sent me. And it was 38 in 2019. Yeah. An old appraisal. Where's that? It's in there. You're free. Okay. We're going to new business on this election ordinance. Me and Michelle worked together on this. Got this typed up. Is this satisfactory to the election commission? Yes. Ordinance number 2024-17. Being enacted by the Corn Court of Edgar County, an ordinance to be entitled, an ordinance establishing Edgar County policy for the compensation of Edgar County Board of Election Commissioners and Edgar County Poll Workers. Section 1. Election Commissioners and Poll Workers generally. Eligibility of any compensation to the Edgar County Board of Election Commissioners and Edgar County Poll Workers not specifically declared in the ensuing section shall be determined in accordance with the reimbursement rules and guidelines established by the State Board of Election Commissioners. Section 2. Poll Worker Compensation. Number 1. Poll workers shall be paid in accordance with Edgar County Ordinance 2022-20. Section 3. Election Commissioners Public Meeting Reimbursement. 1. In an election cycle, each member of the County Board of Election Commissioners shall receive for his or her services the sum of $125 for public meeting when official business is conducted up to a total of 10 meetings per election cycle. Number 2. For each meeting over the number of meetings per election, election type under subdivision 1 of this section, each member of the County Board of Election Commissioners shall receive for his or her services the sum of $25. Number 3. Eligibility compensation for the Edgar County Board of Election Commissioners to attend a mandatory training conducted by the State Board of Election Commissioners prior to a regularly scheduled preferential primary election is set at $300. Miles will be reimbursed to attend mandatory training in accordance with the Edgar County Travel Policy. Section 4. Election Commissioners Hourly Compensation. Number 1. Each member of the Edgar County Board of Election Commissioners shall receive compensation in amount of $15 per hour worked outside a public meeting per election type. A. A member of a County Board of Election Commissioners shall be paid for work conducted outside of a meeting for up to 40 hours per election type. B. Each member of a County Board of Election Commissioners shall file a claim with the County Clerk documenting tasks completed by the member and the time required to complete those tasks in order to receive hourly compensation. C. A member of a County Board of Election Commissioners shall not be paid hourly compensation for tasks completed on more than 100 days prior to election or more than 40 days after election day. 
Section 5. The person designated by the Israel County Board of Election Officials to deliver election material to poll workers for each polling site and for poll workers designated to return election material to the courthouse after closing the polls on election night will be reimbursed in accordance with the Israel County travel policy. definitions election cycle to, to reference the applicable time time period in which elections occur. Election type one, primary election, is the election that political parties use to select, to select candidates for a general election. Runoff election, an additional election that is held because an earlier one did not result in a winner. A general election is an election in which candidates who won either a primary or a runoff election are elected to office. Special election is an election that takes place outside of the regular election cycle. School board election is an election where a school board or school board officers are elected by citizens residing in a school district. I got a couple questions. Okay. To make sure I understand correctly. It says up to 40 hours per election cycle. So that's 40 hours times, up to 40 hours times five of those, which is 200 hours per year. Correct? Times, is that right? 200 hours per year? No, it, it, it will depend because they don't have to necessarily burn out 40 hours per election time. It's just to cover the provisions of the law. Okay, so but it says in the provision of the law, does it say that we can pick between zero and 40 hours? It's up to 40 hours, but you have to bear in mind that you're paying the bare minimum per minute. Right, but we can pay between zero and 40. It's correct, but you cannot not pay because <laughs> Where the law kicks in is if you have a coordinator that is a county worker, you can choose not to pay. Right, which we do. Right? No, you, you don't have a county. A You're not the election clerk. coordinator? No, you don't, have, you don't have a deputy clerk that is the election coordinator. It's not a, it's not a county employee. When you have section. But we can pick zero hours if we want to. You know, you cannot pick this zero hours. This is for the commissioners, not for the coordinator. Yeah, but this is where the law kicks in. Each member of the County Board of Election Commissioners shall receive compensation in an amount no less than $15 per hour work outside of, for work outside of public meetings, follow, subject to the following limitations. A member of a County Board of Election Commissioners shall be paid for work conducted, conducted outside of a meeting for up to 40 hours per election, or the quorum core may set the amount of hours a member of the County Board of Election Commissioner may be paid between zero hours and 40 hours per election if a county employee has been made available to act as an election coordinator. Okay, so like how we used to have it when we had uh, the Becky. Becky, that was correct. That was correct back then, yes. Okay, so if we decide that we <laughs> want to make, or that they decide the election coordinator needs to be someone in-house, it's different, is that what you're saying? It would be different because that person would be doing the job that the commissioners don't have to do anymore. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, the commissioners right. have been picking up a lot more of the yeah. programming and stuff, whereas the full-time person here was taking right. care of it. Okay, when it says we can pick between zero and 40 hours, can we say that we want to pay up to 10 hours for each one of those election deals? Well, is you can interpret the law the way you want, but it says here. Well, let's ask Brad what it is. Do you know Brad? Not in a national law. Y'all should have the one I set between zero and four. Yeah, but we you can set 10. Have to. Yeah, but we can yeah. set 10 hours if we want to. Yeah. Per. I mean, wouldn't you agree with that, Michelle? Well, it says if a county employee has been made available to us as an election coordinator. That's true. You got to make that county employee. You see, so it's, yeah. it's different. And, and Eric and I talked about that. <laughs> where does it apply? And uh, it is only if, you may set the hours, if a county employee has been made available to act as an election coordinator. It's section, uh, subsection two, section A. What have we been doing prior to this? I'm the, I was the election coordinator back then. Are you the election coordinator now? No. Who's the election yes. coordinator now? I am. What's your name? Ray. 
Okay. So we didn't do this before, right? We didn't, no, I mean, we didn't, didn't, were we paying anything besides $125? No, you were not. But you okay. were, if, let's say, if, if she would buy supplies, you would get the regular reimbursement and stuff like that. You were, the commissioners were only getting paid by the hour. I mean, by the meeting, I'm sorry. Back then. Yeah. Okay. But they weren't assuming as many tasks as they are today. Why are they assuming more tasks? Well, today? because we had, for example, this election cycle, we got all brand new poll books. And they have to get trained on how to use the poll books and train the poll workers at the polling site. So I'm pretty sure that that cycle will eventually end and everybody's going to know how to use it. But it's going to take quite a few elections before people get up to speed on how to so use it. So we weren't paying them anything for how to do that? Well, they still did, but so they we never got paid. They, they still did extra, but they never got reimbursed for anything because there was nothing in the law that would... So were we paying them per hour to do those things or not? In no. the past, no, we were not. not we didn't pay them to train. If they went in and trained and stuff, we They did paying. it all on their own time, yes. Yeah, so. Okay. so can we take three hours or no? If, yeah, if, but you've got to provide a bet. A bet. So if we switched it back to someone in house, yes, we could say get everything. But then you got <coughs> insurance full time person. Not unless you use somebody you've already currently got. Like me, like we have. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then I attached the uh, the other ordinances there. That's our grammar. Just re re reference, and then that yeah. bill was. That's a grammar error that needs to be corrected on the second page to work with. On which one? Um, on the ordinance. Uh, it says in accordance with the Easter County travel policy. Okay. Okay. Now, but you, you know that they never really used up all the meetings they have allotted right. you know like in this last election between the primary and the runoff they only had nine meetings and one of those meetings was an emergency meeting due to address conflict at the polling site so you have to kind of bear that in mind because they really try to consolidate a lot of the issues that need to be addressed by the law in, the, in, in one single meeting so we don't consider the person that the county pays the county employee is that what you're telling me I mean, we pay. No, it's not because it's not appointed by the by the county. So the county's paying the election coordinator. What we're calling the election coordinator, but it's not a county employee. No, the election coordinator is not a county employee. But we pay. It, so right? yeah. The county pay. It comes yeah, out of the you, county yeah, money. The law says you have to. I think it's a law that was passed in um, either 2019 or 2020. I'd have to dig it up. I understand where you, you know, where John David's coming from. This could turn into a lot of money. If, if I was, yeah, I mean, two hundred hours. Yeah. Well, at fifteen dollars yeah. times three people. Yeah. And we're paying an extra eight thousand, seven, eight thousand dollars for an election coordinator that we're not considering. We can almost have another full-time employee. Yeah. Can't hardly, but you're getting close yeah. to what that could possibly cost. Yeah. Is my only. I'm not. Where I'm going with that, but I don't know. But that, they, they have not used their 40 hours. Um, that's just what the law says. And another thing is, um, you, they just cannot dream up time to get paid. Okay, they have to specifically detail what they're doing and where and why they were required to go there. Because if the coordinator can't do it, you know, it's just that this time around, when you have nine polling sites and new poll books and things happening, especially with this election with voter registration being a disaster, 
uh, we have to be peppered everywhere to address a lot of concerns. So it, it, I hope, hopefully, that's fixed this go around, and uh, um, you know, they won't have to do as much time as we had to this time, this last time, this last election. Any other concerns? Any other? Now, questions? the primary election and a runoff election derived from the primary is all reimbursed by the state of Arkansas. We already filed the reimbursements and we have up to $60,000 coming back. So basically, the only election that the county has to fund is the general. Okay? And by the time the general comes, it's pretty much a, a, a ballot that is not three miles long. Uh, and, and because we pay by contest to ESNS, uh, the bill is usually a lot smaller than the primary. So if with that in mind, um, you know, the hourly pay to the commissioners and the meetings payment um, is covered for the primary and a runoff by the state. So. Who picks the poll workers that work in the poll? The commission. Or if a poll worker says, "Hey, I, I have, a, I have difficulties getting there. Could I work this poll inside?" Then. Uh, I, I had questions from people about <coughs> and let me at Oxford say at Oxford they didn't part of the people they didn't even know anybody that was in there. I don't understand your question. What was that? The question is like, if you got poll people that poll, go to poll work, do you try to put them in the, the town they they come from, or do you ship them all the way? It depends on who can work. It's not necessarily shipping people anywhere. It's it's a matter of who can work and who can be there. I mean, the, the amount of phone calls that come in the night before election, I can't be there. You have to pull wherever you can. Because you have to have at least four four people, a minimum of four people at the polls at all times. So I mean we have no shortage huh? at the time. We have no shortage at the time since they're getting paid so good in yeah. mileage. Um, well like like I said, I we get I just questions from some of the citizens. You know, they went with a single person from Oxford working off the poll. Well, I can give you the roster and huh? if I should, if you have the roster, I can see how many people from Oxford signed up to work the poll. We can get you a copy of the roster. Well, I just wondered, you know, <coughs> it looks like you, instead of having to pay travel time, if you can get a poll worker from Oxford, you yeah. get more from an Oxford. And we try to do that. They try to do that because it does save save money, especially in the general, uh, since that money does not come back, uh, does not get reimbursed by the state. So. I struggle with the, the 40 hours is the only place that I struggle, or the five elections. The 40 hours is fine if there's not five elections. I mean, there's not 200 hours in each. Well, but know. we don't have five elections, really. It's just an explanation of what... <laughs> it this could be five elections. Well, not really, because in order to have a special election, the, there's a law that was passed, this past General Assembly. It's going to be hard, because you have to have a real emergency to call a special election outside of the cycle, if that makes sense. And it has to be an emergency outside of our, our control and by virtue of the elements, if that hmm. makes sense. Someone died and we had to elect someone or something. Not well. I mean, that's a possibility. Well, it's very possible, but... Yeah. Yeah. But it could be five elections a year. Well, no. Because either county is having the school board election with the primary election. So they've been combined. This last election cycle, we had the primary with the school board. We only have like the odd number of years by law. We have a 
full board election that you can make. And that's it for next year. And the school reimbursed us for that. And the school reimbursed us for that. And, and that, it, that is because their terms are staggered. That is the only reason why. Um, and at that time, if there was to be a special election, I the commission would say, hey, there's a special election coming. Would you guys be okay to have it in conjunction with the school board in May? That way, you yeah. know. And the city's reimbursed us. And the oh. city reimbursed, yes. Um, most of them. Yes. <laughs> We have to have some, <laughs> we have to have some sort of mechanism because even though they we, we we send them the bill for their portion of the election cost, some of the municipalities just don't pay it and, and we have no enforcement mechanism. Um, and and uh, like the bigger cities when they cost us an extra eight thousand dollars, you know, that that's pretty significant. But yeah, in, in like this year, we had the primary, a runoff, and a school board. And if you think about it, between those three elections combined, they only had nine meetings. Nine mm -hmm. meetings. So we're just trying to conform with the law, but it does not mean that they're going to make sure to have all these meetings so they can get paid because they have to have a purpose, minutes, and everything has to be recorded. And not everybody likes to come to. <laughs> Melbourne to have a meeting all the time. So. What I will point out to the forum board is this ordinance does not give you the option of having a county employee act as the election commission. That's important for you to know that state law gives you that option. This ordinance did not give you that option. And I don't know why that so we can regroup. Yeah, that's my question. Can we regroup? If we pass this, can we regroup and get someone that's in house? If you the election, no, you'd have to amend the ordinance, this ordinance, because right now the way this is worded, you're not giving yourself the option. You're not giving the county the option of providing that county employee. It, in fact, the ordinance I don't think says anything about. The So if we amend it to pass it next time, can we amend it to where we can put that in there where that's an option at some point just so that if we ever get in a dot and need to, that we can? Yeah. But a full time employee mm -hmm. full time employee is gonna come right. through. Right. I understand yeah. that you a lot of, oh, let me explain something. Yeah. We had the same number of employees downstairs and had this covered. Got it. Now we're paying eight thousand or seven or eight thousand dollars and still got the same number of employees downstairs. Do I'm saying this has cost us? Now we're adding another possible nine thousand dollars to it. This is end up costing us, could cost us seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars a year, where we were getting it covered. That's the reason I want the option to go back to how we were at some point. I mean, we was giving someone the stipend of the seven or eight thousand dollars to do that job. Well, <laughs> they're not doing that job anymore, and they're still here. We're paying someone else to do it. So we actually we took on an employee, which I realize it's not an employee, but we're paying. So to me, in my eyes, it's an employee. If I pay somebody, they're my employee, or I've hired them, whatever. Yeah. But anyway, I would like the option. I don't want to get myself in a pickle to where that's not an option at some point in life. And if we've got the money and this is working, that's fine. But I don't want to get down the road and, hey, I wish we was able to do this in-house at some point. So I would like to word it okay. to what Brad said if we can't. And, and I'm not opposed to this. I mean, I think that we can do this, but I want to own that on and out too. Yeah. You know, we took on an extra seven or eight thousand dollars here, and I ain't got rid of anybody, and just went right on. So yeah, I'm. I'm well, the the option, the the, uh, the ordinance is reflecting the current right. situation. Yeah. yeah. But you can put a provision on the at the bottom where if at some point, because that is in the second page of the. The bill. Yeah, but it's not in this that you. That no, but it's not. Out. But no. it's not because that's not the current. That's not the current situation. Correct. But, but we won't. I want to leave it so that in case it becomes the situation. Then. <laughs> but I mean, I'm well, not. Yeah, we can. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not opposed to that necessarily. But I would like the option. So let's table it till the next meeting and add that in there. Okay. Then I'm good. All right, we've got a motion to table Second. the ordinance. Second. Got a second. Second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Say like. Huh? Oh, I've got one now. 
Now, I have a question for Brad. Do, does, does an emergency clause need to be added to it? Because it, it needs to become effective before 90 days before election day to yes. apply. Yes, I did not see an emergency I know, but that's why we're here today. Yeah. So we can patch it yeah, up. I put an emergency clause in there so yeah. it's effective. That can be. Okay. Gloria, yeah. how are you? Good. You're saying 90 minutes? 90 days. Gloria, you want to say anything? Well, I'm sorry, this came in late. Oh, no, you're good. Kind of crisis. Um, we have a lot of, we're doing a lot of cleanup now, finishing up projects and getting that kind of thing done. So um, we're working and expanding on our articles and trying to get more people in involved in that kind of thing. So uh, even though and we started this every Saturday, First Saturday, excuse me, not every. That was funny. But every uh, the first Saturday we have a, an event and it's going very well. And we're going to start featuring different artisans that we feel need to get credit where credit is due. So we're going to do a special thing where they you can come in, meet and greet, and have refreshments. So we're going to start doing more refreshments and that kind of thing. So you, everything seems to be going fairly well. The MOOC is doing well. Um, so hot, nobody's doing a whole lot. So, uh, other than that, we're good. We're good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Charlie, you want to talk about your report? Reports out there to everybody. Uh, some numbers are lower, some are higher, but average, we're doing about the same as we have since the first year. Got the, the chapel got moved, the fencing, the, the playground area, I guess, got moved. I think it's still needing some work done on that. They yeah. got the pad ready to pour. They've not poured it yet, have they? Probably? No, the plumbers and electricians finishing up today, getting all their underground services. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, we have a meeting um, status report once a month with the contractors and stuff. But yeah, everything seems like it's going on schedule. Thank you. All right, road report. Uh, Dizzer County Road Department graded approximately 275 miles of county road in June. The department cut 50 miles of right of way with bush hog, 35 miles of right of way with the sidearm bush brush cutters. We got both of them running right now. We installed four culverts. We hauled approximately 233 loads of clay gravel, mostly to the Calico area, and 60 loads of white rock apartment. And we also widened the little low water bridge on the end of Jumbo Road. We had a lot of complaints on it. And a little low water bridge right at the end of Jumbo Road before you get on the Boss Road. We widened that four foot last week. Make it easier for people to pull trailers across. And that's it. Um, Elizabeth wanted me to remind y'all we got dinner here in a little bit up at the, <coughs> the extension office. Well, that looks good. So thank you. Really uh, heat and air. We got in here, um, but the uh, mini splits have not been installed yet. That's the ones that are put in the Yeah. Once them get installed, I think out there in the, the hallway, you know, it's still a little hot, but because them offices ain't cool. Still cool, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, and the cushions are not in yet. So get them sheet off in there and just don't leave them as is right now. Right now, we're just going to leave it as is until we see what our money situation is. And stuff. That's useful. Well, not a whole lot. Just when they have a jury trial. And it's got a lot of county records in there. All the old books, tax books. The 90s or the 80s back. Some of them even older than that. Which I know there's been a lot of people in there lately because of the horseshoe stuff going on. So they've been in and out of there. So we end up having, but that's getting new heat and air. Yeah. So if we have some more money, we might. Yeah, fix it up. Yeah. Yep. 
And you know there is a bathroom in here. Yeah. So. I'm glad y'all like this. I think it looks a lot cleaner. It looks great. Yeah. I did not pick it. She looked at it. What color is it? Do you know? Nope. I'll need like for real. No. Thank you. 